Saturday Sports Breakfast with Caltex Westport, your agent for red eye continuous hot water. And it's a chance now to say good morning to Jack O'Connor from Sport West Coast. How are you? Yeah, good morning. Yes, yeah, school holiday time. You're busy time. <laughs> yeah, it, um, it is certainly out there at the moment. We're week, one week down already. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I'm sure the teachers will be counting down in those next seven days. Hmm. Um, yeah, and we've got a lot of... This, this school holidays is a lot of representative... Um, teams away, especially in the junior grades. Um, so I think was, you've already talked about equestrian, uh, league, there's kids away with the Scorpions, um, basketball, we've got uh, teams that have been up at the secondary school champs, boys and girls from Grey High. Um, badminton, hockey, badminton, just badminton, talk, yeah. and squash. Um, Casey Allery, Sasha Allery and Grace Rhodes are up at the New Zealand junior champs this week as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's great. it's great to see, and that's all on the back of um, all the club work that's gone on during the season uh, to get into the stage. And uh, it's just nice to be able to create pathways for the um, for the ones who can are looking to further their careers in yeah, sport. For sure, no opportunities here. Yeah, but there's also yeah. plenty going on for the kids who uh, are at home, isn't there? Yep, there is. Um, like I'm based down at my offices at the Western Recreation Centre and during this last week there's uh, been basketball camps going on um, and Funfest uh, which is a play activation which is funded, Sport Canterbury fund the Great District Council and this one for um, Tumano Activa Aotearoa Fund and so they had uh, about 50 kids there and quite a few parents involved on Thursday and this week on Monday and Wednesday that's happening again so the fun fest activities at the Western Recreation Centre and that's uh, 10.30 to 12.30 so just two hours each day and it's just free play put a hell of a lot of equipment out there yeah. and just watch the kids invent the things for themselves and what they want to do there's tug of war ropes hula hoops and um, latest addition is the hobby horses <laughs> alright yes yes <laughs> I must have had to have a go myself. Yeah, yeah. So set up a couple of little hobby horse courses, and um, if you ever want to have a look on uh, YouTube and have a look at hobby horses, it's pretty awesome. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> and yeah. um, people get right into it. Um, what else is happening? Uh, if you happen to be down at Haast this, today, there's the whitebait festival going on down there. Um, not sure how much whitebait's been caught. Uh, nobody's ever going to tell you the truth, are they? No, just enough for a feed normally, Jack. <laughs> Just yeah, got enough well, for a that, feed. Yeah, well, there were 11 in my family, so enough yeah. for a feed was usually a fair bit as well. So, um, Yeah, but that should be a lot of fun down there, um, and I'm sure that uh, they'll have it well organised and all up and running, ready mm. to go. So head on down there. You should be on your way if you're heading. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, sports, wo- sports Awards next weekend, so the 12th, Saturday the 12th, uh, at the Regent Theatre in Greymouth. Um, some really great nominations this year. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, in the Supreme Award, we've got um, two people, uh, Anne Patterson from Wood Chopping or Timber Sports and Griff Neem from Rugby League. So yep, that'll be a hard fought out one. They're both on the world stage um, and been off to the world uh, timber sport champs and Griff obviously playing for the Kiwis and um, North Queensland Cowboys. Uh, the achievement in sport, we've got uh, Scott Matthewson from Chopping, we've got Shannon Rhodes from Ultra Running, and Dave Maitland from Ultra Kayaking. Achievement in sport, uh, woman, Maggie Forsyth from Ultra Running, and Emma Wilson from Multisport. She's a multiple coast-to-coast champion. Uh, Coach of the Year, Ian Gurdon, I think Don might have mentioned him from he Hockey. He did, yes. Um, Sam Rasmussen from Gymnastics. And uh, your last guest, um, Graham Berry. Berry, yes. Badminton. So, yeah, having driven... Well, I'm not sure. I drove past his farm. It could be for fencing. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, yeah. Hippie, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm oh, he's outstanding badminton. in his field, Graham. He's, oh, as, as a farmer, he's outstanding in his field. He certainly is. Hope he's got a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, and then team of the year, we've got um, West Coast Buller Axman. So, yeah, we're even letting yep. some of those um, northerners come in into this one. Uh, West Coast uh, Heartland Rugby Team, Rugby Union Team, and the West West Rugby Union Club Team, who took out the championship this year. 
uh, admin, a um, couple of fantastic people, or three fantastic people, Matty Crawford from Basketball Netball, Mike Lash from uh, Rugby Union, and Sam Gibbons from Volleyball. Mm. So, um, again, you know, the people that keep things ticking along. Um, only one umpire referee this year, and it's Nadia Lee. So Nadia will take that out. She's a netball, um, come through the grades in netball, and uh, doing a fantastic job. Um, and, yeah, she's got her gradings as she's gone along. But uh, it's a bit of a shame that there's no more nominations, that there were, we were very limited mm-hmm. on nominations for that one because, um, you know, every game that we play, there's a referee or an umpire out there. So um, exactly. something volunteer. we're working on yep. next year but they do such a good job. Um, yeah, so that's what we're looking forward to. We've got Ruben Wickey as the guest speaker and Tony Lyle as the um, presenter, as the um, MC. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, and, um, yeah, and things have changed. It's a, it's a great evening. Um, it's not a meal. It's, there's some food provided. Um, there's tables still available. I think they've had a couple of cancellations this week, actually, through some reasons. So there's still some tables. Get down to the Regent Theatre in Greymouth and book those. Um, should be a great night. And, um, you know, I think you mentioned earlier on that uh, you emceed earlier on. And um, But, you know, women are allowed these days. They are, yes. I notice <laughs> there's no meal, though, so they're obviously not cooking. <laughs> no. Um, yes, yeah, so I know. I've heard a bit of the history around uh, and times when the um, ladies were outside picketing the event. Yes, yeah. Um, they had to run the gauntlet to get in because it was a men's only event. Um, and run the gauntlet and getting of, out, yeah. Yeah, well, times have changed, and um, when you look at the, there's a fair mix of um, men and women um, in the in the nominations this year. So, it should be fun to have a look at that. Um, now, moving on, we had a couple of AGMs last weekend. I mentioned West Coast Cricket. Uh, they had a great turnout for their um, AGM, which is really nice to see. Um, quite often people avoid those because they're scared they're going to get a job. Um, but it's great that they've come on board and uh, people are really supporting that. And then on the Monday night, um, turned up to the Greymouth Athletic Club AGM. And um, some big news there is that we have a new president. Um, so uh, Patrick Boot has taken on the role. So Patrick and Renee have been running the the last few years. And, uh, yeah, time for a change. And the last president managed to step down after 14 years. And congratulations to him. What a wonderful effort you did, Jack. Um, I know it's a passion of yours, and it has to be a passion to be there for that long. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yep, no, and look, it's not that I don't love athletics and I still won't, and I'm still involved. I'm actually, I'm staying on as uh, vice president so I can support yeah. Patrick as he takes on to that role and link the juniors and seniors together. Hello, Jack. You've suddenly died on us. He has. He must realise it's 10 o'clock. He stopped talking. Congratulations, Jack, anyway, for that 14 years. That's brilliant. Hey, look, thank you to all... Uh, my listeners out there, thank you for all my guests. Done a brilliant job again. Thanks to Lenny on the panel. Good cup of coffee as per usual. But we'll be back next week with the Celtics Westport Sadie Sports Breakfast Show.